Okay, we're back with Abyss Challenge Floor 11. Honestly, didn't know we had one of these until I saw it this morning after waking up and patching the game. Do not click off of this video if you see characters on my team that you do not actually have. You do not need any of the characters that I am playing in order to clear this. This is a super simple challenge floor. To get the three star reward, you simply need to clear it, play three or more green units, and not trigger Montmorency's Outrage. To not trigger the Outrage, you'll notice that she sleeps one of these green dragons with her skills. To wake it up, you simply need to hit it with two single target attacks. Before we get back to Montmorency's turn, because she gets a small CR push at the end of each of the allies' turns. So, really simple. As long as you are hitting the dragon twice before she actually gets back to her turn, that's it. You're done. The best character on my composition is actually Alencia, and that is because when she has the Mind's Eye on her turn, her S1 has a guaranteed single target follow-up in Trample, which means that as long as you have Mind's Eye, she herself alone in one turn can wake up a dragon. On top of that, she has a defense break, which helps increase the damage overall of my team. If you don't have Alencia, you could play a number of other green characters. For example, Biken has two single target attacks in her kit. That is another character that you could play here if you so chose. Violet is here largely because he just does a lot of damage, a lot of single target damage on not only his counters, but obviously his S3 is a huge single target nuke that does about 10 to 15% of Montmorency's total max health, which is very, very appreciated. Isaria is here not only to help increase the damage with things like focus and defense break, but she could also strip immunity should Angelic Montmorency actually get it. You could play Mercenary Helga in the same spot because she also has a slew of defense breaks in her actual kit. She also has some combat radius pushing and some attack buffing as well. So you could play that as well. You'll notice here the S1 into S2 instantly wakes up the dragon. So we just have no fear of ever getting outraged. Keys in the Eye is only here as a flex because I haven't played her in a while. I am getting her ready to try and use her in the Nightmare Labyrinth. So I figured it would be a good time to bust her out since I already had some gear on her. She is only here because she has some moderate healing. She gives an attack buff to my team and she has a cleanse. You can honestly play almost anything here. You could play DN in the same spot. Honestly, DN would probably be better. Destina would be fine here as well because not only is she green, but she has uh, CR uh, pushing capability. So that would be super, super useful for you as well. You'll notice throughout this entire run, I do not use Genesis on Alencia. I could not figure out why this was happening, but in my first two test runs of this with various different compositions, anytime I use Genesis on Alencia, Montmorency healed to full. And I, there's nothing in the skill descriptions that was triggering that. I don't know if it's a bug. It's something I didn't read. But honestly, just don't use AoEs. Just go single target. And with a team like this, it's fairly, fairly simple. Honestly, most green characters in the game, I feel like, are pretty good single target DPSs. You could play Mort, by the way, if you wanted here. He would probably be great. He's got a defense break, good single target damage. So again, whatever you want to play, as long as you are hitting these dragons, and making sure that they wake up and you have no chance of triggering outrage, you'll be fine. I think the only thing that could really screw you over is if, for some reason, your characters are just really slow overall, like you play a bunch of slow characters, uh, and Montmorency somehow cuts you before you're able to actually take two turns and knock the dragon out of sleep. You'll notice throughout this fight also that I soul burn my Alencia to get a two-turn defense break, that is to help, again, keep the damage high. You don't really need any effectiveness, by the way, on your characters, because for some reason, uh, you would think Angelic Montmorency as a boss would have a ton of effect resistance. She only has, I think, 60 ER on this floor, which means that even at zero effectiveness, you have a fairly decent shot. You have like a 50-50 chance almost of actually landing any of your debuffs. So don't worry about stacking too much uh, effectiveness. All you really need is just, again, damage and three green units and just actually pay attention and hit these dragons whenever they actually fall asleep. Asaria here might also be pretty decent, because you'll notice that she gave the dragons immunity here. You may need to actually strip those. That might be a problem that you come across in your runs. It was not a problem for me, and I attribute that largely to the fact that I, you know, my Asaria is reasonably fast, so I can guarantee keep the pressure on these characters. I don't really have to worry about it. Maybe my speed tuning was just fine, and I didn't have to ever worry about it. I did decided not to go for the dragon here at the end. You'll notice that he still needed one hit to wake up. 
That's because I knew that Asteria would not get caught by Montmorency, so she could wake it up and not trigger Outrage. I went for maximum damage, in case you were wondering. And then we just Soul Burn here, two turn defense break, 3% by the way, dual attack chance, and that should be the game. So yeah, really simple overall. If you have a speed Alencia, by the way, it's probably going to be even easier than it was for me. Real quickly, let's take a look now at those actual stats. You'll see my Alencia is still my PvP Alencia. No effectiveness. You could probably play speed set. You don't need injury. My Violet is being reworked. You'll notice that he's still not even reforged. She just has standard Violet style stats. Scrolling down a bit here. Here's a Seria. You can see 105 effectiveness. Not needed, honestly, at all. I'd rather just go for damage stats because of the low effect resistance of the boss. And then here's Keys and I, who I'm using for Nightmare Labyrinth. 